guys, welcome back. We're here for this review of the newly released version of Minecraft, Minecraft 1.8. So from now on, you can set your difficulty per world, and if you want to lock it, you can, but you will no longer be able to change it ever again for that world. You can now get an achievement by crafting the enchanted version of the golden apple. Item frames are now able to support 8 different rotations for any object within it. You can now target any specific mob for a command using the E target selector. Here I'm killing only pigs and I'm teleporting any sheep 3 blocks higher relative to their positions. Similarly to copy and paste on a computer, you're now able to use the new clone command to clone any cubic area which has to be smaller than 4096 blocks. Using the execute command, you're now able to execute any types of event like spawning a block of sand over a zombie's head. The new fill command allows you to fill in any cubic area like with air or if you'd like, diamond blocks, but again it needs to be less than 4096 blocks. You now have the ability to spawn any types of particles using the particle command. Here I'm using it to spawn smoke particles around the fire. Very useful for adventure maps, you can now use the test4 block command to test for a certain block to be at a certain place, which will output a redstone signal. Again, very useful for adventure maps, you can now spawn items with restrictions, like can only break blocks of sand, and in order for it to work, you gotta be in adventure mode of course. You can now spawn blocks, in this case stone blocks, that can only be placed on diamond blocks. Very very useful for adventure maps once again. Spectator mode is very useful for no clipping through anything you'd like. And also, if you ever feel like it, you can go inside Mob's head and see the world the same way they do. In this case, a spider, or even, if you don't want, a creeper. We also have the new granite, diorite, and then the side block, along with the new slime block, which if you fall on it, will allow you to go back 60% the height you were before falling until you eventually stop jumping. No, this is not magic, it's only the new barrier block which will always be invisible unless you have one in your hand, which makes it easier to work with. Simply put, this iron trap door is just like an horizontal iron door. This new mob, the Endermite, has a small chance of spawning every time an Enderman, or the player itself, teleports. Okay, so this is cool. Minecraft is now able to support 3D texture packs. Here, I've got 3D rails, bookshelves, 3D cacti, ladders, along with cake, even thick doors, which is amazing. We have this redstone lamp, chisel stone block, and this amazing TNT. Also, they improved the enchantment system. You now need lapis lazuli to enchant your stuff. Also, which is cool, you get a preview of what kind of enchantments you will get, which is an awesome feature. You can now get much better items when trading with testificates and all that for what I believe is a pretty good deal. The anvil has also been rebalanced. It will now cost you a lot less level than before to repair and also to rename an object. Before it would have been something like 15 levels, but now it's like 2 or 3. Using the clear command you can now clear a specific spot in an inventory or if you want just clear it all at the same time. The teleportation command has also been improved, it can now support arguments of rotation, meaning you can teleport a player and at the same time rotate it in the direction you want. The relative teleporting is now almost flawless, meaning that most of the time you're not even aware that you are being teleported. Slime blocks now act like a glue block, meaning that all the blocks that are touching them are going to be moved when pushed by a piston. But again, obsidian blocks and command blocks can't be moved. Also, if the total blocks is higher than 12, it will not move. And when used, if a player is over the piston, it will act like a trampoline. And now, world generation is now fully customizable. Just go into more options, customize, and you'll be faced with four pages of options you can play with. And with all these options, you can easily create a world just like that one where you can choose how often and at what height ores will be spawning everywhere. So that's a really cool feature and it's pretty useful to create customizable world. By using the new game rule called random tick speed you can also customize the growth rate of any crops you'd like. So that's really cool. 
The new World Border command allows you to customize the world border. You can make it shorter or bigger, and as you get close to it, your screen becomes red. Plus, the new Title command allows anyone to send anyone else messages using titles and subtitles. Very useful for adventure maps. Couple new blocks here, Prismarine Bricks, Prismarine, Dark Prismarine, and Sea Lantern. So sponges are now working, you can use them to get rid of water. And also we have a new mob called the uh, Guardian, which will protect the underwater temple, which is new in Minecraft 1.8. We also have this new item, which is the Prismarine Shard, along with this Prismarine Crystal. So we've got this new type of dirt which is called the uh, coarse dirt and as you can see here it's a little bit darker than normal dirt and this dirt is special, it won't allow grass to grow on it. So it will always stay like that. There is now a new enchantment which can only be applied to boots, it will allow you to walk faster underwater. So there is this new mob, the rabbit, which comes in about 7 different skins and you can kill it to get food and um, leather as well. So here's a couple new items, we've got the uh, raw rabbit, cooked rabbit, alongside with the uh, rabbit's two. There is a rabbit's foot as well, and um, rabbits do drop hide, which you can use to craft leather. And there is now food that you can get from muttons. So there is this new potion for Minecraft, it's called the uh, Potion of Leaping, which will give you the jump boost effect. And you can make that potion using the uh, rabbit's foot. So banners are now a new thing in Minecraft which you can use to make highly customizable designs on it and uh, make a really cool banner out of it, just like that. It's now possible to reverse any daylight sensors by right clicking on it. When it reversed, it will output a strong signal when it's dark outside. Armor stands are now used to display armors. You can right click on them to take or put any piece of armor. Next, you can now change the colors of the beam that comes out from the beacon using stained glass. So a couple new blocks here, we've got the red sandstone, red chisel sandstone, red smooth sandstone, same thing for the stairs, and then red stone slabs. So there is now seven different types of doors depending on which type of wood you will use when you're crafting them. Same thing goes for the different kinds of fences as well as the different kinds of fence gates. There is also a new recipe for fences. You can now use planks and sticks to get three fences in return. And finally, there is now going to be cobblestone under the roads and villages. Also, stained clay will replace wool inside temples. Mobs AI has been improved. Food has changed a little bit and other minor changes occurred also in this new version of Minecraft. So that sums it up for Minecraft 1.8, if you enjoyed the video, as always, you can click the like button and leave a comment, or subscribe if you want to see more videos. So again, thanks for watching guys, and have a good day.